What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here, the Sultan of Swag, getting ready to shoot another high adventure video. Guys, today the video is simple. Catch and cook catfish. Catch and cook catfish. That trips lightly off the tongue, but that is what we are doing today. Peeps, I am really excited about this video today. Two reasons. I'm catfishing, which is probably the most favorite fishing of all the kind of fishing that I like to do. It is beautiful weather out here. It's probably about 85, 90 degrees, a little bit of breeze. It is about 5.30 in the evening, so the bite should start to warm up now. But the second reason uh, I'm pretty excited about this video is I'm actually meeting a friend out here that I've never met before. This is a guy I met on social media, Twitter actually, about a year and a half ago. And we just have always chatted mainly about our love for the Oakland Raiders and football in general. So you might be asking yourself, why in the world are you meeting with somebody out in the wilderness that you've never met before that you met through social media. I mean, that sounds like a horror story, right? And you'd be correct. So is this a smart idea? Probably not for everybody. Am I rolling the dice? Yeah, but you know what? We're gonna have a fun time anyway. So camp is all set up. I've got my sleeping bag, cooler full of drinks, food. Hopefully we'll get the catfish though, so I won't need to worry about food. Uh, I've got a dead perch and a dead trout. I'm gonna cut those up for bait, and that is mwah, perfect catfishing bait. Check this out, I am proud of this. Took me about 10 minutes to make. It is my organic uh, live well. I just basically put a bunch of rocks in a circle. Well, that's not really a circle. Kind of what happened was, is I started on this circle, then realized it was gonna have to come out like that to make a real full circle. I didn't wanna do that much work, so I kind of shaved it in and then just tried to finish, the, so whatever, it, it's gonna work. So that is our organic live well. I'm pretty, pretty proud of that. Um, got the chair and got the fishing rods ready to rock and roll. Pretty excited to get those out. And we have the little grill. Now, the reason for the grill is that's what I have to do my catch and cook on because if you haven't noticed, it is August and everything is bone dry out here. So the fire ban is in effect. So I can use my little grill, but I can't catch and cook over an open fire, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. But you know what? We got to do what we got to do. guys it's getting uh getting a little bit evening time now bite should start to pick up sun's gone behind the uh behind the hills back there so i did catch this small catfish he's about a one pound channel and i didn't get it on video unfortunately but uh, i didn't think much of it because i thought well i've already caught one it was like 30 minutes into the trip I'll, I'll get something bigger but i'm getting hungry and the light's starting to fade a little bit so i need to eat something so this is what we got here all right pretty catfish he's about 14 it's about 14 inches long he's about probably a little over a pound so that's what's gonna have to do for this evening so we're gonna go ahead and get him filleted up and let's get some dinner all right guys so i got a nice couple pieces of meat there so we're gonna go ahead and get these uh on the grill and fortunately this isn't our only protein this evening i'm going to wrap these bad boys in bacon and that should be pretty good check this out we actually have a cedar plank that has been soaking in water for an hour because apparently that's what you have to do we are going full fancy for these catfish this isn't just a regular catch and cook catfish guys we're wrapping it in bacon we're gonna throw some cajun seasonings on it and it's gonna be cedar smoked so i mean this is fancy feast all the way all right guys so they say to let the cedar sit against the grill for three minutes and then flip it over and apparently we are ready to rock and roll first one i'm going to do is i'm going to get some bacon on this thing first because i kind of want to cook it in some bacon grease so i want some of that bacon grease to get on on that wood there so we're basically going to have cedar bacon going on here which i don't know if it gets any better than that besides wrapping it in catfish got a couple pieces there you know what we're gonna move that Ooh, that's a little warm let's throw one more on there get all that bacon goodness in i contend that the dog is not man's best friend 
I believe bacon is man's best friend. Change my mind. All right. Let's see how the cedar plank of the bacon are doing. Oh yeah. Guys, it smells delicious down here. Look at that. So as you can see, the cedar plank may have caught a little bit of fire. Uh, so I had to turn the heat down actually. And so uh, that is the reason for the charred cedar, but not to fear. I do have more cedar. So looks like we need to let that cook a little more. Man, I'm excited for that. All right, guys. So he isn't an ax murderer. That's just good no. because meeting people online and then randomly showing up with them in the middle of nowhere is always sketchy business. But Tyler, uh, man, how you doing, man? Good. How are you? I'm good doing fantastic. Guys, this is pretty exciting. We, we get to come out here, catfish. Looks like you brought his daughter with you? Yep. Awesome. What's your name again? Mackenzie, I should have remembered that. Mackenzie, nice to meet you. Are you a football fan too? Who's your favorite team? Raiders. You're a Raider fan too? All right. All right, start them young. We need them. We need them, especially with all the moving around they're doing. Oh, you're fine. I'm pretty sure it is. It feels like a catfish. bubbles very oh, oh good grief oh, he's a good oh, one. dude yeah don't Holy lose this one wow yeah that gosh look at that that is ginormous all right you have it step back step back sis all right get the hook out of his mouth Oh. Are you gonna keep it or put it back? No, we'll, you gotta let the big ones go. Oh. Yeah. Get the hook out of him. Oh, check that out, guys. Perfectly cooked. That is some flavored wood now. And you know what you do with that first stuff? You just go ahead and eat that. We are ready to throw some catfish down on there with a little Cajun seasoning. But first, let's have some bacon. All right, guys, it's time for some. Catfish fillets there. there we go. So we also have some New Orleans Cajun seasoning that's gonna get, just get sprinkled on there. Oh yeah, that looks fantastic. All right, let's flip that. Oh guys, that smells so good. A little Cajun seasoning on this side as well. That smells delicious. A couple more minutes, then we're gonna pull them off, wrap them in bacon, stick them back on, and let them cook the rest of the way. We're also gonna throw some green beans on there as well, and we should be good to go. Guys, time to pull these bad boys off. They're about two thirds of the way cooked. Let's get them wrapped in bacon. All right, guys, there's one. Wrap that bacon up. That bacon's actually super long, which works really well for wrapping this whole bad boy. Look at that. Snug as a bug in a rug. Go we'll double wrap here. Alright guys, got a little extra bacon. We'll just throw him on the side there. We got bacon wrapped catfish. Let's let that cook. So we're not totally barbaric. We're also gonna throw some greens on there. I've got some fresh cut green beans that we're just gonna throw on the side if they don't all roll off. Just do that for now. Guys, so we're throwing a little butter on the green beans here. So that'll kind of soften it up. And that's also gonna go perfectly with, check this out, we got a little lemon pepper I'm gonna put on those green beans. Add a little flavor in there. Oh, guys, that smells delicious. All right, guys, time to flip it. Oh, yeah. It's cooking up nicely, guys. Stay wrapped up there. Green beans are looking good. That butter's all melting. In fact, that butter melted. We're gonna add a little more lemon pepper. That'll stick to the green beans a bit. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking. Well guys, this is a little cedar flambe here. 
But I think he'll go out, hopefully. But it looks like everything's still cooking. Sometimes that bacon grease fall, is gonna fall down and it catches it. But the, the cedar on the top is still good. Of course, now my green beans are catching on fire. The cedar's still intact. That actually surprises me a little bit. Dude, you could serve this up. Oh yeah. Just like that. And 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 oh my gosh, just People eat right up. Pay buku dollars. <laughs> That's right. Hey, guys, that bacon's cooking up nicely though. We're gonna go ahead and flip that catfish. Oh look That's at that. Like the sizzling fajitas. I know. We're gonna move those green beans away from the edge there. They're getting torched a bit. There we go. Guys, oh, smells so good. That catfish, that bacon should all be cooked. This is all finger food too, so you just, mm. Oh my goodness. What makes this besides just everything that's on it. That Cajun seasoning, you have the spice of the Cajun seasoning, then the, like the cedar smoked flavor kind of offsets that spice. Let's get some of this lemon butter. Mm. Man, what do you think of that? That's yeah, good. Is that good? That's you wanna take a bite? Well. Guys, this is first time too, so this is a little bit trial by fire. What do you think? get a thumbs up oh guys so you have that that heavy protein here mm. and then you offset it with some fresh green bean lemon butter action my cedar plank is still barely intact <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the video i've still got a full night of catfishing ahead of me Hoping to get something a little bit bigger than uh, that little 13 inch catfish, but I tell you what, he sure was tasty with this in, wrapped in bacon. You guys keep crushing summer. I know I will. We'll see you in the next video. All right guys, I'm sitting in bed. I'm getting a bite. Yep, I got him. Guys, I am in bed pulling in a catfish. It's not very big, but I am pulling a catfish in from bed, and that's pretty awesome. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's fun. Let's get up and take a look at him. All right, guys, not the, quite the piggy I was hoping for, but it's a nice little catfish <laughs> from bed. <laughs> I don't think it gets much lazier than fishing than that. <laughs>